we're really talking about business in general. Yeah. So what's your advice to someone who maybe they don't want to make a product and be like, okay, that's not for me, but they want to have one of these other jobs in the nail industry. Cause you've had so many hats, so you know, many. so, you know, you've been an executive, you've been mm -hmm. a judge, you've been mm -hmm. an educator. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, what if someone goes, I don't want to just do nails. I want another opportunity in this industry. Like what's your advice to them? You know, okay. So I wanted to talk about residual income coming up. Yeah. You know, being able to take your talents that you're good at and mm -hmm. taking it in a way where you can earn money that if, I, if I'm watching TV dollars came in. So the meaning of residual income is it's income you make when you are not physically laboring. Right. Perfect. So if I wrote an ebook and I wrote it for one time, maybe it took me days, but I wrote yeah. a book, a yeah. CD book and I put it online. And I'm out with you, Beth, having, you know, we're having some nice cocktails somewhere. <laughs> and I look on my phone and I'm like, oh, I've sold 100 ebooks. Mm -hmm. That's residual income. I made right. money while we were hanging out doing something. Right, right. So in the nail industry, we don't have residual income. We, we work, you know, if, if you're not at work, you're not making money. Yeah. So this is an example of it, though. You know, we have to have the gift of gab. We, we communicate, we talk to people face to face. If you don't like crowds and you don't like even talking on cameras, you can talk to your phone. There's nobody judging for you. For sure, for so sure. You can make videos and, and do educational things and make packages. I say packages because I'm like, don't just sell a video and think you're gonna get rich because people don't need to pay for videos and go to YouTube right. all day long. Right. But if you create a package, so let's go off of, you know, the way to zigzag that I'm looking at right now. People have come to me and said, you're doing nothing. Will you help me out? And it's, you know, make a video that goes with a particular kit so they can sell the kit, have the education, and it goes out and the customer can get that kit. It's ways for people right now to be able to do their nails at home and talking to them from a professional's way. I don't want you to just watch some kit or read the instructions on the box and think you can do them and protect your nails. I care about everybody's nails, not just mm -hmm. my customers, you know? Right. And so my video is showing, you know, use, use a 200 grit file. Don't just use any file, you know, don't damage. So anyways, so yeah, if you have skills outside of just doing the nails, talking, right. writing, right. any of those could be side jobs yes. that you could be doing right now that you can't be doing in the salon and you can still make some money off of totally a hundred percent yeah i don't think you i think everyone here is clearly talented everyone wa like watching and in our community you mm -hmm. clearly have a lot of skills in addition to doing nails and like elaine was yeah. saying you're also business people and i think sometimes you don't think of yourselves that way but you are and mm -hmm. so what elaine's saying is basically like look to transition within those means because yeah. Some of you are very capable at maybe video, maybe talking, maybe networking. Those things are great for an educator. Those things are great for you know, joining a company just to learn about it, to see if you want to start manufacturing your own products, private labeling, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So I think this is just really good advice. And I think at the root of it all is just to think of yourselves as business people yeah. and think about your residual income, which I love Use that, that you salon that. discount you get. As yes. a professional, most companies will give you what, 40% 40, 40 off retail. There's no reason that you can't just, you know, buy a couple of things, the most popular things, up, up them by 40% or a little more and sell them to your own customers. You know, the days of retail were really heavy when I first started. Yeah. Nobody yeah. opened a salon without having a ton of retail. And somewhere along the way, us nail techs just started going, I don't feel comfortable doing sales. I don't want to mm -hmm. sell retail. And so, so suddenly less and less retail were in the salons. I learned the other day, the weirdest thing that, and this was in a conversation I was having with Tony, that their Cuccio cuticle oil is uh -huh. suddenly flying on Amazon. He doesn't hmm. know why. He doesn't know who's, but like somebody buying it and using it for something outside of meals, he has no idea, but he can't put a finger on why the hell this cuticle oil is. So maybe it is nail people. Are you selling cuticle oil? Because if you're not, they're going to Amazon and getting it. Right. You right. know, my point being is you don't have to be a salesperson. You just have to be 
you just have to be enthusiastic about the stuff you're using on them and say, oh my God, I love this stuff. It smells so good. You got to smell it, feel it. It's not squeaky. It, it's moisturizing. If you talk with those kinds of adjectives, they're going to want it. Exactly. Yeah. And just be you, be authentic. Yeah. I think like you I were saying, I, you I, were I saying know. earlier, you're like, you were saying that you weren't, you didn't think of yourself as a salesperson uh -uh. and uh -uh. you were told, but you are, but, but it, you're not knowing it, right? You yeah. don't realize you're doing it. If I was hired explicitly to do sales at a company, I, w I would turn into Rain Man. Cause to <laughs> me, I'm like, my husband does sales and I listen to him and he, and like the words closing a deal and stuff. I, I would just, I couldn't do it. Yeah. But you give me something I'm passionate about my iPad pro. You know how many iPad Pros I've sold just because I carry that thing everywhere I go and I'm like, oh my God, you got to see what this thing can do, you know? So yeah. you, don't, you don't have to be a salesperson. You just totally. have to love what you're selling. Right. And we all love our nail stuff. And we it's all love it. Come. Exactly.